No, I don't care. Revoke their access, all of them, now. Lana, what's going on? Where are you? I hope you're ready for the hunt of your life. The former Emperor, Vishit, he's... I don't care what they tell you. Assume they're lying and deal with them. He's here, Vishit's presence. Here on Zyast. He's taking over this outpost, controlling soldiers and Sith, using them to murder anyone he can. Hold them off. I'm on my way. Good, thank you. I'm sending coordinates. We'll hold this bunker as long as we can, but you must hurry or... Lana, can you read me? Lana! Zayast. Lana, are you there? I had foreseen your arrival, but I didn't believe it. I thought, after bearing witness to my rebirth on the Yavin Moon, why? Why would you stand in the face of certain death? And then I realized you're a simple one. Not terribly bright, but that's fine. I'm rather pleased you're here. You'll bear witness to a world's end if you survive long enough. He's gone. I can... I can finally... Back already, huh? Guess I should be flattered. So you've arrived. Good. There's much to be done. Always nice to see a friendly face. I've missed you. I'm trying to avert a mass catastrophe while keeping the most powerful mind in the galaxy out of my head. I, I can't think about that. The Jedi you fought belong to the Sixth Line. SIS commandos who follow their own addendum to the Jedi Code, hence the name. There is no contemplation. There is only duty. A great point of view, so long as they're working for you. Pardon the interruption. I sent a probe droid to look into that crash shuttle, Minister Benico. It's empty. This is Agent Rain Kovach. He's been something of a rising star in Sith intelligence here on Zyost. I've not heard much of anything about the new organization. I'd like to know how things are coming along. Nothing we've done will matter if we don't address what's happening now. As you've witnessed, Vishit is taking hold of an increasing number of soldiers and Sith. His goal continues to be the accumulation of power. Agent. The dark side is strong on Zyost. Using the outpost's resources, our former Emperor can massacre the defenseless to fuel him. The more powerful he becomes, the more people he can control. He will keep on killing until nothing's left. Yes, I'm on my way. I need it everywhere, all at once. I've already lingered too long. Agent Kovach has a plan to help stem the bloodshed. The Grand Champion. Good to have you in my corner. The outpost armory is wide open right now. It's where the possessed have been getting their firepower. It needs to be placed on lockdown. That won't be enough to stop him. No, it won't. 
But we have to start somewhere. I'll go out ahead. Be your eyes and ears. You sure cleared a path out there. That's good. But it's bad, too. Each time a pawn's killed, Vitiate gets a little bit stronger. Not as much as when they kill, but... Well, that's what Minister Benico says, anyway. So, we have to stop them without killing them? Or we destroy Vitiate. Not that anyone seems to know how to do that. Agent, we've got company. Almost there. Master Soro, the sixth line commander. I like this one. Strong willed. Not that it will save her, or anyone on this world. If you get what you want, you'll be doing away with all my paying customers. Can't let that happen. Such bravery. But you must know you're completely powerless against me. When this world turns to red, and you choke on torrents of blood, remember that this was your chance to flee. A chance I... gave! There is no... contemplation. There is only... Duty! We're wasting time here. The armory's safe. You go ahead. I'll be close behind. I can confirm it. The defenses are down. Between those weapons and the armory, a lot of the killing power is out of their hands now. I see you've started the evacuation process already. Good. We need to get as many targets out of here as we can. Some friendly advice if you're here to help the Emperor. I don't think he's paying. I'm sure he'd ask for a volume discount anyway. You know this person. Theron Sean. S.I.S. Really? If you came here to save your sixth line, you're too late. If you know what's going on here, Theron, then you know it has to stop. Let's work together. Sure. All we need to do is figure out how to knock out a guy no one can touch. So I take it you don't have any ideas. I do know we have to try something. That's about it. The way things are out there, I can't believe I even made it this far. As soon as I crash landed, the Emperor's puppets started coming for my shuttle, just like that. Maybe figured on some easy kills inside. They're the only thing I could think of. Rigged the ship to overload, fry everything in and around it. Tried to shield myself, but still scrambled half my implants. And that stopped the attack. They went down, yeah. Some of them got back up, but they seemed out of it. Not possessed. Dazed. Intrusion! Vitiate's pawns! I have a thought. Be ready for anything. That was a... a nightmare. What? The Grand Champion? Here! What's going on? Leave. Now. You won't get a second chance. So now we know. Shock them unconscious and the tie is severed. Well, for a while, at least. Hit enough of them hard enough and they'll be out for a good long while. Yeah, but how do we do that? I have some ideas. I need to consult the new Adasta municipal systems. You gonna need a hand with that? Some backup? No. I'll be in touch. Well, he seems confident. Is he any good? Lana vouches for him. Lana Benico, Minister of Sith Intelligence. <laughs> Who'd have thought it, right? When I met her on Manon, she was in over her head. Seemed to be. She's come a long way since then. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I mean, what do I know, anyway? 
I should never have sent my team here. I made a bad situation worse than now. And now I've got a priority holocall. Great. You've been busy, Agent Sean. Chancellor. An off-the-books mission to Zyost. A secret team of Jedi that... I don't even know where to start with you about them. Everything's happened so fast, you don't realize... No, I do realize. I realize that you declined to inform me of a prime opportunity to cripple the Empire and face the Emperor head-on. We're taking advantage of the chaos on Zyost, starting with New Adasta. I expect your cooperation. Wait, please, before you send the order... You don't seem to understand, Agent Sean. There's nothing to argue. Our ships are in orbit. The invasion's already begun. Suresh has her forces all over New Adasta. Some of them are possessed now. In a real mess. Are you talking about her now? Or you? Let's keep on target. Doesn't matter how bad things get, we have to put an end to Vitiate's plan. This is Lana. Agent Kovac may have been hurt. Possibly worse. I haven't heard from him and his track is off. I tried to reach you, to tell you. This won't end well. The time for hand-wringing ended when you shut down the Orbital Defense Command Center, Agent. With respect, you haven't seen what I have on the ground. The power the Emperor holds. I'm aware, Agent. Now, if you have a report on Sith Intelligence or the SIS, we can talk. But you will not tell me how to fight a war. Damn. This is bad. That's one way of putting it. I take it you heard all that. Or enough of it. Lana holds you in such high esteem, her rising star. But you're little more than a talking dungworm. I know it looks bad. Okay, it is bad. But listen, I have a plan to stall Vichy's progress. At least for a while. It requires that we work together. Let me help you. This isn't over. No. No, I wouldn't think so. I'll be controlling them while you alter the makeup of the grid. Once it's all set, we'll put a shock into every living thing in New Adasta. Then, we'll figure out what's next. That's one down. I've got you covered. Finally heard from Agent Kovac. He says you're working together on a solution. More and more of our forces have fallen to Vitiate. It's spreading beyond the city now, along with the war. There must be an end to this. Excuse me. My attention is needed elsewhere. Everywhere. Okay, that's enough. Any more, and it's the dampeners that will take the brunt of the search. All that's left is to disable the system failsafe. Maybe you don't want to hear this. I have to say it, though. I respect Lona Benico. Sincerely. But the Empire enslaves and slaughters innocent people every day. And I respect common decency more. I hope you understand. What was that thing? We've been calling them monoliths. I promise I wasn't eavesdropping, just wanted to warn you. We've seen several of those creatures appearing throughout New Adasta. They're made from Sith alchemy, a sign of Vitiate's growing power. Extremely strong, next to impossible to kill. The one you just defeated is the smallest we've come across. I think you were eavesdropping. I think you can't stop thinking about me. I would hope you're joking, except this is hardly the time for it. And by the way, do look behind you. Plan's over. Scrapped. Some giant thing tore through a junction. Caused an electrical surge. Dampeners are shot. There has to be another way. I thought about an electrical bombardment from space, but it would be incredibly imprecise. We'd be as likely to kill a lot of people as anything. Besides, the two fleets have engaged each other. 
Maybe if we convince Suresh or Darth Ma to divert some forces. Urgent report. It won't work, Minister. I failed. Agent, don't you have something else to say? I... Speak, or I will. Minister Benico, I... I place myself at your mercy. Well, spit it out, Agent. We haven't all day. I don't work for you. I answer to the Supreme Chancellor of the Republic. I'm sorry. Sorry? You're sorry? I want him executed. Now. Get out of here, Agent. What? Shut off the hollow and run. You let him live. That's right. If I find him, Agent Kovac will be made accountable for his incompetence. But there's no time for that now. Vicious pawns are growing in number. I have a strategy to suggest. You may find it unpleasant. I'm listening. War has broken out across the globe. Our former Emperor, however, has limited his involvement to the area around New Adasta, near you. I don't think it's a coincidence. It's possible he isn't as strong as he's been letting on. It's possible he's worried about what you could do. Not to sell myself short, but I don't think he's too concerned about one lone bounty hunter. Explain it however you like, but you've gotten under his skin. That much is clear, and it's the advantage we'll use to stop him. You must get all of his pawns, every last soldier, Jedi and Sith, to stop their slaughter and chase you into the heart of New Adasta. You must make Fishyard want to kill you, now. Before we go ahead with this, you and I should talk in person. I'll see you shortly. You've made it, good. Time is short, so is reliable assistance. As Agent Kovac is no longer in the picture, I've taken the liberty of reaching out to someone I hope we can trust a little bit better. Are you in position? Yeah, but this setup isn't anything like what you described. So what you're saying is you can't figure it out? Don't get all... I'll figure it out. We're about to begin, so that would be nice. What exactly are we about to begin, Lana? You're going to make Fishet angry. So angry that he'll place all his attention on killing you. When the time comes, you'll lead him to an electrostatic weapon stored here in the heart of New Adasta. It's meant to be a last resort against major civil uprisings, but Theron's modifying it to be non-lethal. With the reduced charge, its radius of impact will diminish. Fine. Let's get started. Yes, let's. interrupting. Boy, you can really kill them, can't you? Sure, they gotta be untrained, defenseless and standing still, but yeah, such a big, powerful killing machine, and yet here I am, little old me, still alive. What's the matter, Emperor? Lost your nerve? I think that did it. I have to go now. There's much to be done. Too much. I shouldn't have come here, truth be told. There's nothing wrong with wanting to see someone you've missed. Especially in times like these. If all this ever ends... Maybe then. Hey, that was... Awkward. Not as bad as my previous chat with her, believe it or not. Look, I know saving the lives of Jedi isn't high on your priority list. The sixth line, though, they're... They're here because of me. You could find some way, any way at all. Just... Please help them. Don't do the other thing. 
You think I don't know what you're doing? Of course I know, Bounty Hunter. I know everything. And I will enjoy watching you fail. Go ahead. Kill them. Kill the Jedi. If you let them live, they will just keep murdering in my name. Don't hesitate. Kill them. <laughs> I won't mind. And neither will your Republic friend. You are a ruthless gun for hire. Do it! Kill them! That's it. Got to set for as big a non-lethal burst as we can manage. Should be enough to zap anyone in range into a nice long involuntary nap. Should be? Hard to come up with a one-size-fits-all solution. A lot of guesswork involved. Wish there was some way we could do a test run. They've got to be closing in. Then come on, we need to be shielded. Should wait until they're good and close. I came across two of your team, Theron. And? I gave them a shock. When I left, they were still out. Good, thanks. Let's just hope that they don't end up in the Emperor's control as soon as they wake up. However this pans out, it's been good to work with you again. Same here. Beats how I imagined our next meeting. Aside from the part where we're fighting two armies possessed by a crazy Sith Lord. Okay, here comes the Puppet Brigade. Fingers crossed. This one was closest, took the biggest hit. Still alive. We did it. Let's just hope we got all of them. We should call Lana now, see if she has a plan for what's next. I have a better idea. Master Suro. No. Watching you believe you have a chance. It's amused me. And now this whole charade is pathetic. Now. How do you wish to die? In combat? Or on your knees? Go away, little Sith. This has nothing to do with your friends. This is you and I. Hey, Master Suro. This would be a good time to come on out. Your words are as desperate as they are useless. And they will be your last. I saw it. I saw everything. Every life. 
Every life he took. I took. It's all I can see anymore. I'm a monster. It's not true. You'll be okay. I'll take you to Tython. The Jedi will help you restore your mind and make you whole again. And then she'll be no good to us. We need to understand the connection Bishad established with this Jedi so we can stop it or exploit it. Yeah, and let me guess. The process is invasive. Hasn't she been through enough? We've bought ourselves some time, that's all. We can't risk the fate of the galaxy just to assuage your guilt. You want to take her brain apart, and you don't even know if you'll find anything. We have to try. He's never leaving. I'm going to hear him forever. The Jedi goes with Theron. You're joking. Tell me you're joking. You heard him. Come on. I'll get you shipped out of here as soon as I can. I suppose we can be grateful that we managed some manner of progress. You know, Vishad gave up on trying to take control of me some time ago. Perhaps he's not as powerful as we were led to believe. Still, he is more than formidable. We've only stopped him temporarily, and war still rages. We have much to do. I just ended a holocaust with Darth Ma. He would very much like to speak with you. Darth Mar, you wanted a word? Can't hear you, Mar. Probably on your end. I'm curious. Do you really believe you've accomplished anything here? What do you think you've stopped? I'm not gonna let you kill every living thing just so you can live forever. I have already cheated death. I have other plans now. As you will see. I have decided that life is more interesting with you in it. If you wish to keep railing against me, then so be it. Your interference changes nothing. When I am finished here, when every life on this world has been exhausted, I want you to be alive, to know that I succeeded. Goodbye. I take it you've heard about Zyost. I saw it for myself. It was a blur. We tried to evacuate as many as we could. Considering so much was out of control, I'd say we did all right. But Vitiate is stronger now. Sith intelligence is in complete disarray. It's all coming apart. 
Beating yourself up over it won't change anything, Lana. I have to learn from this, from my mistakes, but I don't intend to wallow if that's your concern. When Darth Arcus first asked for my counsel, I considered turning him down. I wanted understanding, not a place in the power structure. But that's where I am. I don't take the responsibility lightly. Whatever comes my way, I will deal with it. I've seen what you're capable of. I know you won't disappoint. Thank you, Hunter. Especially after Zyost. Putting an end to Vichit's threat feels like an impossible task. I don't believe it truly is impossible. Even if it were, we have to try. Is that optimism? It would appear so. Imagine that. Well, the Republic are licking their wounds, same as us. But they aren't relenting. And they're hardly our only concern. I suppose I should go about looking after the security of the Sith Empire. Unless there was anything else. Anything you need, Lana. Anything at all. Anything I need? That will do, for now. Be well, my love. <laughs>